there is a level of hunger there is a level of desperation you see hunger is proof that you are alive hunger is proof of health when people fall sick among the many things that happen to them is something called the loss of appetite are we together those outside if you are with me say amen so you find out someone who can devour two or three or four wraps of swallow but all of a sudden this person is knocked down by typhoid and you can even bring a cup of pap and the person is barely taking it that means you can track your spiritual progress using the index of hunger i can know my spiritual health by the level of hunger about god about his house that means if at any point i have to drag myself and advise myself to church it's a sign that there is a spiritual symptom something is wrong he said i was glad the same david not i was angry i was glad when they said unto me let us go because there is something about the house of god you don't find in a bank there is something about the house of god you don't find in a movie theater the acoustics may be the same the vocal prowess of the communicators may be the same, but the presence factor, that factor, I was glad when they said unto me, is God blessing us already? So that there is a measure of passion and hunger. You see, the way God deals with us is that every time he wants you to know him more, the first thing he does to you is that he brings a bit of the dimension he wants to introduce you to and then he hides it back. It is his system of luring men. He introduces something. So as a man of God, he wants to bring you into the healing ministry and this is how he will do it. One day you will go for a program, you will know that based on your preparation, nothing should happen it will surprise you that blind eyes will open you know you are not part of that miracle you are just standing on stage that's why they think you are the one you are as surprised as those being healed you go back home and say my wife what happened and then the next meeting you go and nothing happens god says i'm drawing you come and let me show you the secret that makes that realm your permanent habitation that's why the bible said oh taste um I come from the north. I know you find them here. But where I come from, the people that sell suya for you, when you go to eat, they just cut a little. Does that happen here? Remember, you plan to buy for only 500 naira. That was the initial plan. You advise your wife that there was no time to waste money now. And the man doesn't say, please buy. He just... He looks for one that is already hot and steamy and just cuts... A significant portion and says taste ah, let my wife taste say you too just taste and as soon as you taste you will want to pretend it's not nice and then eventually you will find yourself betraying yourself and you say how much is this one one five say how much will you reduce it one two and your wife said i thought say, you have tasted and it has in that as as soon as you tasted of that meal something you did not plan doing the same way you didn't plan to go on a three-day fast but he made you to taste of what the healing power can do and the next thing you cancel your program and you are locking yourself for three days and say lord to see your power and your glory in my life he's calling us deeper deeper Deeper, deeper, he's calling you deeper, deeper, deeper. This can't be it. Your God is so much bigger than this. 
I'm speaking to you. Listen. This can't be it. He is so much. So I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord. Of Lord, you are the King. You're the King of kings and Lord. Of Lord, your glorious majesty. Yabonenaka Sujata we bring you worship, oh God, our King. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh.